Hi everyone, back again. We are continuing with our pet series this week and next we are going to draw a fish. Now fish is a really common pet because they're so nice and easy, um, especially if you're a very busy person, you don't have a lot of time to walk them, do the litter box and all that stuff. Um, fish are nice and easy. And I have my little fish background going here. This isn't a real fish tank, obviously. This is my Roku screensaver for it. But I love putting it on when, even when I'm not watching TV because it looks like an aquarium. So I actually keep it on quite a bit. So for today, our paper is going to be going side to side. So it's going to be short and fat. And just like always, we'll need something to draw with. I'm going to use a short beak. Um, you can use whatever it is that you prefer. And we're going to draw our fish lengthwise. Now we're going to try and draw big. But um, the nice thing with the fish is, even if it turns out kind of small, the easiest thing to do would be make it look like an aquarium or the ocean. You could add a few more fish. You could color the background blue. Very much like what you're seeing behind me here. So it's a super easy solution for that. All right, so I'm going to start off in the middle towards the left, but not too close to the edge. And I am going to make a long, very skinny oval. Okay? So we're going to do that first. And then, hang on, Milo. My dog's running out. Now, I am going to draw a little, basically, fin right here on the end. And then, above it, I'm going to do another one. Okay? Mine looks kind of funny, but oh well. Then, I am going to come over here. And I'm going to make it look kind of like my fish has lips. Then I'm going to give a curved line here because that's going to be my fish's head. Then I'm going to give a circle with another circle inside. Okay, so obviously that's his little face. And then he needs a fin down here. And he needs a larger fin up here. All right. And then another little fin down here. Like that. And then. All right. And then I'm going to make these a little more interesting by adding some lines to them almost like you're putting stripes on their fin Maybe even here okay and as you can see that is a pretty simple fish drawing um, we can look at the fake aquarium in the back around here. We could pretend that we have, like this is the gravel. Okay. Um, we could pretend you have, like, you know, the little rock. Maybe this is one of those that they can swim through. It's like a little cave. Um, you, oh, like, I don't know if you, you can't see that, it's too far off the screen, but there is an actual little cave there. Um, you could have the little kind of different sea plants that grow in there. And other fish, all kinds of stuff. I don't want to add too much because I don't want you to just copy and do what I do. I want you to add your own things. You could draw some fish. Like they're swimming away. You're kind of losing your view of them because they're swimming away. Okay. 
Okay. And then, of course, you will color. Now, I would, because my main focus is on Big Fish here. He's kind of the star of the show in this picture. And I'm going to take some different... I'm going to take these. I have these little different greens. It may be kind of hard for you to see on the video, but it's basically like a, a teal and a kind of a blue green and then more of a traditional green. And I could color, and get the cap off, the stripe here. But maybe I could color my fish. And if I draw more than one, I, like my little friend over here, I could, but maybe I do the fish with marker and then maybe I do the background, the rest of the aquarium with crayon. And that way it puts more emphasis, meaning what you notice, what stands out on the fish because the marker is more bold and bright and you'll be able to see it better. And the crayon is a little more muted and soft and doesn't stand out quite so much. So I think if I was one of you working on this, I think that's what I would probably do, is do all the sea creatures, fish, and like say you added a starfish or seahorse or anything like that. I would do all of them with marker. And then I would do the gravel, the plants, rocks, the water. I would do all the rest of that with um, losing my turn of thought. Crayon. So you can see here, got the little lime green going. Now. Do you think I should color his eye, the white part of his eye? Yeah, I'd go with no, because you want that to kind of stand out and be white. You don't want it to look like he's sickly or anything. Okay, now, if this was, you know, I was one of you and it was a real picture that I was making because I want to hang it up, I would continue I would definitely draw more than two fish. I'm gonna color this little guy. He's gonna be more of your traditional goldfish. I'm kind of coloring him upside down. You, of course, would be doing it right side up, flat on a table, and there's no need for you to feel rushed. You have plenty of time. I'm just trying to keep my videos somewhat short and so I have my fish and then for my background I would color it with crayon and see how that way the fish still stands out and the background's more muted so pretend I colored the whole thing pretend I'm coloring this little piece of like sea coral. I'm coloring that with my crayon. And that way, the, anything that's alive is bright and bold. And then um, anything that's just part of the aquarium itself is more muted because you colored it with crayons. Now, obviously you don't have to do it that way. It's just a suggestion. It's just a thought I had. But basically, that is it, and I would continue. I would definitely add more down here. I would definitely do something to make this look more like gravel. I would definitely color all of this blue. I would add maybe a starfish or seahorse, something a little different than just your run-of-the-mill fish. And that's basically it. Be sure you share it with me on Flipgrid. And if you have a real aquarium in your house, you can also share that with me on Flipgrid. Thanks.